another week, another kicker. <laughs> is this just? Can you? I mean, is it just? Do you laugh at this point? The, the, the struggles you're going through with this? Well, I mean, yeah, you'd like to think that, but uh, we obviously got to come up with a way to find a kicker that can come in here and be consistent for us. And you know, we've got to turn you know, every leaf over and see what we can get. And, uh, you know, we're going to go with Randy. We thought Randy had a really good practice beforehand in his tryout. He did really well for us yesterday. And, and the guys obviously kicked a long time in the NFL. And uh, we're excited for him. And hopefully we can get that consistency with him. To say, and I know it was a competition at the time, the, the injury happened, but you guys had invested quite a bit of time in Tucker that you kind of looked at him as possibly a long-term solution at some point here recently? Yeah, you know, unfortunately with the injury with Tucker, you know, it, it stinks for him. And I, and I felt really bad because he was having a great training camp. He made all his kicks in the preseason, brought in Sam, and there was a really good competition between the both of them. And obviously Sam was having a great training camp too and made all his kicks in the preseason. And unfortunately, that's what happens in the NFL sometimes with injuries. And, you know, we just got to move on and hopefully find that guy. But yeah, we obviously feel bad for both of those guys getting hurt. Uh, I guess timing uh, is a little bit more of a challenge too for, you know, with Morgan and Brett. I mean, is that something that can develop quickly, uh, you know, in your eyes? Yeah, the, the best thing about, you know, bringing in a new kicker is he's got a guy with Morgan and Brett that have done it for a long time in the NFL. And Morgan, not only is a great long snapper, but he's a really consistent short snapper where Brett doesn't have to move the lace as much. And when you have guys that are pros and, and understand what's going on, it's usually helping out the, a young kicker or a veteran kicker that we bring in for a couple of days to help those guys out. So, you know, with those guys being, you know, pros and being in there for 10, 15 years, it really helps out the kicker. Badgley even get in and you know how much time did he get to work with so him? yeah so he came in on Friday obviously we worked him out and then you know we didn't want to work him out again afterwards so we came in here met with Brett Morgan Badgley end up you know talking with him likes his routine this is what he likes to do then Saturday you know we did some motion kicks with him and brought him in because we have to obviously get some type of reps whether he's kicking the ball or not um, so we had a little bit of Saturday working with him, and then obviously Sunday during pregame. Did you guys work out other guys, or was he the only? No, we worked out a couple guys there um, on Friday and, and just wanted to see who the best guy was, and we felt like Badgley was the guy to go with. And, um, you know, obviously we tried him out, and um, we're moving on. Do you, do you expect to have somebody on the practice squad again, too, going forward now? Or? Yeah, I think that's the thing that uh, I'm sure J-Rob and uh, Mike will talk about. And, uh, you know, with COVID and all the stuff that could happen, um, I'm sure they're looking at all possibilities. What Chester do in your eyes uh, on Sunday? Yeah, I, I mean, the thing with Chester, uh, you know, we want to be aggressive back there. And, uh, you know, I think he – thought he should have had maybe one that he shouldn't have fair caught and try to get some you know yardage with him but that's just us continuing to talk to him about being aggressive um, no matter where the position that we're in um, where we can catch the ball and try to gain some positive yards nice to see uh, the, the, the fake punt that it executed well uh, uh, in, in, in how a little surprising that Brett goes out to the side and they didn't seem to pick it up. How rare is that maybe to catch a team off guard like that? Yeah, I mean, it's the first game of the year. And, you know, teams are going to have different people in that might have not played special teams in college. Uh, so we're looking to do things every week, um, you know, to try to help our football team win. And, you know, was, we were put in a good spot where Mike felt really comfortable of running the fake. And uh, we executed and helped our team out get a first down. So we got to continue to do different things each and every week to help our team win. When you use one of those, is it pretty much burn it for the rest of the year? Or, you know, is it something that maybe you could try again later? Or is it usually something teams pick up on film? Well, I mean, you know, we're always trying to scheme up different things each and every week. And, you know, Matt Edwards, myself, James, you know, we're, we're going to try to do something, you know, each and every week where – Hey, we think this can work or you know what maybe we need to be a little bit more reserved in what we do this week but uh you know who knows we might use it again never know talk to you i guess since 
I guess the Ficken development, I guess it was Friday after we talked to you Thursday. How bad do you feel for him, you know, after he kind of won the job and do you hope he's going to be available to kick for you at some point this year? Yeah, I mean, uh, my heart broke for him. You know, a guy who gets injured Friday before, um, you know, I, I felt terrible for him. And it was just one of those deals where, um, you know, he felt something and uh, just looked at me and said, hey, I'm done kicking right now. And, um, you know, unfortunately, end up happening. And, and who knows the timeline with him? I know he's taking it one day at a time and, and trying to recover for it. But uh, hopefully we can get him back and, and see what he can do. On, that, on the fake punt there, at, at that point in the game, you know, you guys were, were looking for a spark. So is that, does Mike say at that point, we got to have it right now? Or do you, you know, do you suggest, hey, if you want, you know, how does that, how does that? Well, Mike, Mike has the final decision. You know, he's the head coach, and we're, we're going to do what he wants to do. And we'll talk during the week um, of certain things that we might see um, to try to run a fake. Um, so there's always constant communication between myself, Mike, Matt Edwards, things like that. And, uh, you know, if, if Mike wants to run it in certain situations, make the call, and we go from there. And it was good that the guys executed it and, and uh, you know, hopefully that continues to provide a spark for us, um, whether we need it or not, or are we just trying to change field position? I assume you have to have a certain look by them in order to, to proceed. Yeah, them. and, um, you know, that's, that's on the players. And the players end up, they're the ones out there. We might call it, but at any point in time, if they see something that they don't like, you know, they can end up calling it off. Or even last year when we were playing in Jacksonville, um, where Amani Hooker ended up, you know, running a fake, and it was a look that he saw. And, you know, Coach Rabel, myself, we have a lot of confidence in our players to put us in the right position. And, uh, you know, we'll continue to do that, having confidence in the guys. Uh, when you look at Seattle, what kind of what, what do you know you have to prepare for? What do they do well on special teams? Yeah. Uh, they're obviously a really big physical football team that play really hard and fast. Uh, they got great specialists. Um, they do an excellent job. Dixon, the punter, does a really, really good job of flipping the field, and he punts a bunch of different ways. He can hit a traditional punt. He can hit a boomerang punt. He can also hit a knuckle. Uh, so he does a lot of different things that we have to be ready for. Um, but, you know, it's a, it's a core that consistently plays hard, and, and we've got to be able to match that intensity and exceed it. I like how your cover guys did and, and as far as physicality that they played with on – yeah, I mean, I think we're perfectionist. Um, not that we have to be perfect, but, you know, we want to continue to raise the expectations and the standards here on special teams. And like the players will always tell you, it's, it's just not good enough sometimes. You know, even though it could be good, we still want it better. Um, but I think it's something to build on each and every week, and we'll continue to try to strive to play even harder every week um, so we can go down there and make plays.